What's going on guys? Brian here from Ghani Fit and I hope you're having a great day today. And today I wanted to share with you my favorite points from the Slight Edge and share with you how the Slight Edge can dramatically impact your life. So if you're watching this right now, if you're, I don't care who you are, um, the Slight Edge will impact your life because it impacts everyone's life in the world. You can either take a Slight Edge up or a Slight Edge down and that's kind of what I'm going to get into today. So um, yeah, stay tuned and let's get into this guys. So the first point I really want to make here is to slow down to go fast. And this is something that pretty much everyone does is they always try to multitask and you know everyone's guilty of it, I'm guilty of it, you're guilty of it. And in our jobs, or most people's jobs anyway, you're supposed to be multitasking or it's like a qualifier for a job sometimes is to multitask. and. It doesn't work and he points out that it doesn't work because when you're multitasking every little thing counts and um, if you're multitasking and like if you're on the phone and driving the car you pretty much aren't able to give your full attention to driving the car even though it sounds like a little thing you're just talking on the phone but you got to pay attention to what the person's saying on the other line and even though you're not really conscious of it you are kind of like taking your eyes off the road just by doing that little action and you're taking a slight edge down instead of a slight edge up. And every little thing is compounding. So at the beginning it's going to be like this little curve and it's just going to keep going up and up and up. Or it's going to be this little curve and just go down, down, down. So by multitasking or just going fast in general, you're going to um, notice that you're not getting as much good work done. You might be getting work done, but it might take even longer, double the time rather, and you might not even be getting the work done in a good way. So that's just what I want to say about slowing down to go fast. Secondly, he says to raise your happiness level. And I'm not talking about like some bullshit happiness. Like, I don't know, there's like bullshit happiness and real happiness. You can kind of tell the difference. And sometimes a bullshit happiness might help. Um, but other than that, you know what I'm trying to say here is just like raise your happiness level. Because if your baseline happiness is better than like it was before, like let's say you're at a shitty baseline happiness and everything's just shit to you. If you raise your happiness level and everything is great or, you know, 90% of the stuff is great um, in your life, you're going to be more happy. So by raising your happiness level, you're going to be able to get your best work done. And I can definitely, definitely say that when I'm happy, like I just feel like pushing out videos, pushing out videos. But when I'm pissed off, it's like, I feel like I just don't want to be making a video and then the video turns out shitty if I do make it and it's just kind of like a downhill thing from there but if I'm inspired to make the video and I'm really happy to make it and share what I have to say with you then that's just going to be like a slight edge up. Third point is what words are you constantly saying or speaking? A lot of us we get in um, the habit of saying like I can't do this or I can't do that just because we're putting we might even have like limitations put on us by other people or um you know just like how we're brought up or something or like the people around us um and you might think like oh i live in a neighborhood that's shitty so there's no way i can become a millionaire drive lamborghinis have 5000 square foot houses 10000 square foot houses whatever i can't own a business because no one around me owns a business no one on my street owns a business or whatever and Really, this can be like, you're saying you can't all the time. This is what I'm trying to get to, is you saying you can't all the time. You want to change stuff to say you can, because once you change your language and think of stuff in a good way, and, um, you know, there is stuff that's going to be bad, but if you're speaking to yourself or other people in a way that is bringing yourself or other people down, or even if people are talking to you, like, bringing you down, yeah, not even on purpose, maybe they just don't know better, but... There's going to be like dramatic impact on how great your life is just by the language you are using and the language that even the people around you are using because the five people you spend the most time with, blah, blah, blah. You know, I talk about that a lot. Or, you know, if you're even, it doesn't even matter if you spend the most time with them. If you're just spending time around negativity or people that like just gave up on their dreams and stuff, um, if you're in one of those like areas like that, like especially ghettos and stuff, it's like everyone around you is just in this downward, downward spiral. I'm thankful enough to not be. But 
um, you know, wherever you are, you could be with around people that are going down, or you could be around people that are building you up you know, using language like, we can do this, or how can we do this, um, and in one of the books I read, um, not coming to mind, Rich Dad Poor Dad, um, in that book, he even talks about this, where his rich dad would say, instead of saying, I cannot afford this, ask yourself, how can I afford this, and, um, you know, I can say whenever, like, I say this, and I'm, like, to myself, and I'm really inspired, I can tell the times when I'm using shitty language, and I'm saying, oh, man, I can't afford that, like, it could be some good food or something, or whatever, and I can say I can't afford that, but then on, on other days, I could be in a good mood or something, or just smart enough to ask myself, how can I afford this, and I come up with an idea, and it's like, oh, you know, I could work an extra 10 minutes this week every day at my job, or, um, you know, I could go do something to earn some extra money or whatever. So can versus can't, your language you're using in general, negative going down, positive language going up, and empowering you. Number four is take responsibility. And this is something that I struggled with, especially as a kid, was taking responsibility for stuff. And I think everyone really does have this problem, like everything else on this list. It's a thing people have a lot like a commonality with doing these things when they should be doing something else so taking responsibility is something that has really impacted me because when i was a kid especially i would be like if something fell on the ground or if i knocked something on the ground rather i'm doing it right here i'm not taking responsibility if something fell on the ground i would like say to my parents or something oh it fell or it broke not I did it because I didn't want to be held accountable for it. But now that, you know, I'm a little older, I'm realizing that, you know what? If I knock that glass down or if I accidentally, like, drop something, I did that. It didn't just slip out of my hands. It didn't get, it didn't just decide to walk off the table and fall. Tip number five, he says to have mentors, street smarts, and book smarts. And the book smarts is obviously the knowledge the street smarts is the action and the mentors are like the guides and teachers to being, um, to helping you grow. And you do hear a lot of people talking about book smarts and street smarts together, but you don't really hear people going book smarts, street smarts, and mentors together. And he says that the mentors kind of guide you along and just propel you to move forward and forward along with your street smarts and book smarts. So it is good to read, it is good to take some action, but you also gotta have some people to learn from, which is probably the hardest part actually because you know you can read and take action, but learning from great people who are where you wanna be and finding those people and connecting with them is ex insanely hard. But by doing that, or even if you find people on YouTube, it's a little easier, but by doing that, you will see your life be propelled. And you know, I can say like whenever I find people on YouTube and I just follow what they do or if I find someone in a book and I use that book as a book smart and the person as a mentor and I like take action on what they say, I notice my life improve. But if I just kind of like stagnate and don't take action on what the person says, I notice that my life, it doesn't stay like this. It ends up going down slowly. But after a while, if I let it keep doing that, it would go whoo, all the way down. But if I take a little bit of action and on what the person says, it's going to go a little slowly up and then it's just going to like spike up and have this huge spike going and like insanely impacting my life. So I hope you really enjoyed this, these five nuggets of wisdom from the book, The Slight Edge. If you do want the book, I'm going to leave a link down in my description for a blog post I wrote a couple weeks back. It's going to be down in the description box below. Go click that, get a copy of your book. I hope you love the book and if you do, if you already read the book even, leave some comments down below, share your favorite parts of it, and what really stuck out to you. I would love to hear that, and also if you haven't purchased it, read it, and then when you're done reading, come back to this video, put your comments down below, and I'll be happy to read them when you are done reading the book. Anyways, if this gave you some insight or help, leave it a thumbs up. Um, also comment your ideas below if you haven't read the book yet, what you think of my ideas, and be sure to subscribe to the channel as well as I work really hard to put these videos out and, you know, just like really help you guys here and what's helped me, I use that to help you. So I hope this did help.
I hope you have a great day, and I will see you guys on the next video. Bye.